Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. Today we're heading south, 115 kilometres to Mildura. Looks like it's gonna rain out there. It's a sealed road the whole way. Looks like we're entering the fruit bowl. There are so many grapes. We must drink way too much wine. Think of the most number of grape plants you can think of and then multiply it by a hundred and that's possibly still not enough. We are heading to a free camp on Bruce's Bend, 12 kilometres east of Mildura. So we have arrived in Mildura and we are staying at King's Billabong Park at Bruce's Bend. We're going to stay for three or four days and have a look around Mildura and while we're here we'll show you around. Here's your do and don'ts board and there's a boat ramp on site. There's a bit of river noise with the houseboats and skiing. But hey, it's free. They're good to watch and wish. It's a dirt road into the camp and it was still a bit soft from the recent rains. All the sites are along the side of the Murray River with possibly only 10 to 15 sites. There's no power, no water or bins. There is a toilet block down the road, down near the walking tracks, about two kilometres from our van. We'd gotten up early so we could snag a spot. We got a great one. It has awesome views. Time to put the yabby pot in. I had a chicken frame in the fridge and that'll do for bait. Ed made me these cute little bait containers. The banks of this river are pretty steep, but on our site there was a little walkway down to the river. Winning! That arvo we went for an explore around Wentworth. So that right there is where the Darling River meets the Murray. I can't believe we're actually standing here. Wentworth is a little town about 30 kilometres west of Mildura. All this area had been in flood in October last year and all these small towns are still trying to rebuild. This park was so soft with mud and the grass is only just starting to grow back. There is a lock up the road and it thought it would be a great idea if we walked to it. He's making me walk to the lock 10 weir and we could have driven as a perfectly good road. It's only about 400 metres. It was an easy short walk but it was really muddy underfoot and it's like that real sticky black mud. <laughs> How big is that tree? It's a monster. Oh, look at that big sucker. Shoo. You had a look at how big that is. My little tree hugging buggity. It's dead. So now we've come to this and we're walking back because there's no way we're getting through there. Oh, don't, Ed. You hit the heck out of me. I wonder what lives in there. Anyway, now we're driving to the lot. While I hold back the, I told you. Can't believe you're not allowed to swim in the lock. Looks like a pool, right? Well, that's the flood mark from this year. Uh, if you run a line across there, everything was underwater. Then we tripped upon this other free camp spot. This whole area had been underwater as well. 
These sites were all along the side of the river. We went for a whip around town and there were some really lovely old buildings. This one was built in 1882. This old prison was built in 1879. And how beautiful is this row of trees? How's the old church built in 1871? Time to head home. The riverbanks are lined with houseboats. Over Abbotsford Bridge opened in 1928. This is such a great spot. The sunrises are amazing. They come right through our bedroom window. Time to check the Abbey pot. Caught six of these freshwater prawns. These little suckers bite. <laughs> it's market day. I love a good market. There is also lots of oranges in this area. They are really yummy and so juicy. Such good produce here in Mildura. We ended up with a big bag of oranges, some berry jam, biscuits, and bacon on bread for breakfast. And now it's battle boat time. We are going for a ride on Rotherby, built in 8081 at Gunbower. She's an old girl. She was built as a large and powerful tow boat employed for towing barges for wool and logging trade. She was well known even then to being one of the fastest tow boats. In 1911, Rotherby was bought by R.M. Anderson, a major sawmiller in Mildura. Rotherby supplied the mill with logs from the red gum forest for extensive building and construction in Mildura. The timber was towed on barges by Rotherby. The stockpiles along the river for various boilers and other passing steamers. <laughs> Rotherby laid her idol in Mildura, moored at the slipway for 10 years until she was purchased by Captain Albie Poynton in 1968 for restoration for the tourist trade. During the restoration, her 55 horsepower steam engine and boiler combination was removed for the lower maintenance Gardner diesel engine. Hence the paddle vessel PV now and not a paddle steamer. However, Rotherby retains her original wheelhouse and all the top deck cabins are original also. A bar and galley and dining facilities replace the steam engine area. Rotherby is 88 foot long, 19 foot wide at the waterline, with a width of 32 feet across the top of the paddles, and weighs in at 90 tonne, and is licensed to carry 175 passengers. Today we're going up the Murray River, and then through Lock 11. We are going up the river and back again through the lock and back to port. The cruise operates five days a week. It is a two hour cruise, and it costs $40 per person.
Watching people use the river on the banks was amazing from the boat. We found it super interesting watching them work the lock and the water coming in or leaving. We came back in the afternoon and videoed it from the banks, so you'll get a better view. It takes about five minutes for this water to empty or fill. The next day we went to Psychic Pumps. It's a dirt road and it would be super boggy in the wet. It was built to establish an irrigation system for the region in the late 19th century. The Shapley brothers installed the huge pumps at Psychic Bend and began pumping water from the Murray into King's Billabong. The original pump house still stands at Psychic Bends today, complete with still operational pumps. It's the oldest pump configuration of its type in the world. We got lucky and had the whole place to ourselves. Next we went to the town of Redcliffe, famous for these red cliffs. We found the car park, but then there were no signs. We eventually found the lookout platform. Well that's it for this week. Be kind, stay safe, love your life, and we'll see you next Sunday at 6am. We're heading for a true golf.